Hey guys, in this video, we're going to do a little bit more terminology here today. We're going to talk about notional value. Now, you might have heard people um, bring this up before. What is a notional value? What's the margin, um, et cetera? All that sounds big and bad and scary, but really all notional value represents is just your max risk in that certain position. And it's also going to be your max risk minus your credit received. So you're talking about short puts. Um, for example, we're in April here. We're on our seven, uh, September monthlies. Um, when we are mentioning notional value and talking about this short 140 put here, what we mean is the actual risk involved, not the buying power that is needed to place this position. It's going to be where notional value represents the max risk involved, and it's going to be minus this credit received. So it's also going to be our max loss. So our max loss here on a short put so that's going to be if it expires in the money, it is going to be 100 shares of Apple here at 140. So therefore, it's going to be 14, 14,000, but it's going to be minus our credit received. And we're receiving 112 here. So 14,000 minus this 13 or sorry, 14,000 minus the 112 gives us a max loss of right around 13. $888. So that would be representative of our notional value in here. Okay. So what's your notional value? It's going to be um, the 100 shares at your strike minus your credit received. And that's like, so basically your max loss, right? Um, that is going to be your notional value. It's not going to be representative of your buying power. So your buying power here um, with margin, you get certain um, leverages that you can do. Um, and it, it's not going to take out that much buying power. And it all has to do with obviously um, your options level experience, um, the different levels that you kind of sign up for, depending on your experience. Um, and it's going to have to do with um, the amount of money that you have in your accounts, um, et cetera. Oh, and how many, um, uh, how much it costs to short the shares, et cetera. Um, so all those do come into a play into play when you're um, talking about your buying power effect for certain short positions um, and getting long stock. Um, but your notional value will always be the same. It's always going to be 100 shares at your short strike here. And it's going to be minus that credit received. So it's also going to be re representative of your max loss. So that's all notional value is. So what's the notional value of the short 140 put here in Apple? It's going to be $13,888. Um, yeah, so that's all that is. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on all our social media. We have attached the links to our socials in the description. And we also have a trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.